I give the following order. I am to be buried discreetly, modestly, and privately. People attending my funeral are not to wear mourning garb. No black capes or black crepe on hats or any other outward signs of sorrow, which I find a revolting absurdity. The day after Dickens' funeral, Karl Marx wrote, Charles Dickens threw more political and social truths in people's faces than all those proclaimed by politicians, journalists, and moralists. discover Charles Dickens' favorite places and relive in his company the greatest moments of the Victorian era by traveling the streets of London and visiting the countryside of Kent. In the Western world, England is the ultimate refuge of the eccentric and the exotic. These crazy Brits still measure in feet, miles and Fahrenheit. They wear bowlers and drive on the left-hand side. They favor tea as a beverage, double-decker buses, and they are dotty about cricket, grass, bulldogs, and the monarchy. In front of Buckingham Palace, the memorial dedicated to Queen Victoria reminds us of the England of the past, where during her reign, Britain was the ruling industrial, military, and commercial force of the globe. Just after the Napoleonic Wars, the country profited from an era of peace that permitted it to devote itself entirely to the Industrial Revolution and becoming the most important industrialized nation in the world. This Industrial Revolution that favored science and business allowed for the emergence of a rich middle class that thanks to the Great Reform Bill passed in 1832 shared political power that up until then had been an aristocratic prerogative. It is during this period of economic, scientific, and political flowering that the 18-year-old Victoria became queen of the greatest industrial, naval, and financial power on earth. Victoria ascended to the throne the same year that a 24-year-old parliamentary journalist published a serial novel that became an instant success. The Pickwick Papers was an astounding literary debut for Charles Dickens, the most popular writer of his time, and considered by some to be one of the greatest British writers on a level with Shakespeare. Shakespeare. 